Hey guys, we're gonna do a intermediate workout today. You're gonna use a ball as a prop. If you don't have a ball, use a yoga block or you can use a pillow or don't use it. So we're gonna start with uh, some legging straps. We're gonna have a red, white, and blue. You have a balanced body, use two reds. And let's get started. So lay down on your back. Just hold the ball in your lap for a second. Grab your strap. Press out one foot. Together. We're gonna place our ball and stick it in between our thighs. Good, reach the legs up to the ceiling. Start by lowering it down and then lifting it up. Keep those abs tight as you lower, you don't wanna arch the back. Control it up. Have an active squeeze on that ball. Down, control it up, and only lift as high as you can without lifting that tailbone off of the mat. Exhale to lower. Inhale all the way up. Using the hamstrings and boots to press down, the abdominals to help lift up. Five more. As you lower, feet are in parallel. Last one, lower to 45 and just squeeze and release that ball. Squeeze, activate the inner thighs, glutes. Squeeze hard, five more, four. Squeeze three, squeeze two. Hold it there, you're gonna bend those knees in, feet are parallel. I like my knees in line with the ropes, and then press out. Bend in slow, and then lengthen long, and that ball squeeze. Bend in, press out, squeeze that ball. As you bend in, don't let the hips go all the way into the shoulders. Just come in, in line with the hips, maybe slightly past, and then press out. About pressing through those heels and squeezing the glutes and hamstrings. Getting that full extension as you extend out. Last one, come in halfway and hold it. Now just squeeze the ball. Make sure you're squeezing the ankles and not just the knees, squeeze and release. And keep the carriage still. Squeezing the inner thighs. Squeeze. Two more. Hold it there. You're gonna press out an inch and in an inch. Slow and control. Really try to feel the muscles as you press out. Press it all the way up. Turn the toes to external rotation. You're gonna start lowering and lifting the leg. Keeping that external rotation, you'll feel a little deeper, strengthening in the inner thighs and in the outer part of the glutes. And as you lower, keep those abs tight. You don't want to arch the back and pull the wrist down. Thighs should be feeling it right now. If the weight feels too heavy, you can always take off the white spring to make it a little lighter. Do what feels good for your body or take the ball out. Five more. Keeping that external rotation and a little active squeeze on the ball. And pulling it up. Last one, lower to 45 and squeeze and release that ball. 
slow control squeezes. Abs in, go inner thighs up. Two more. Hold it there, keeping that extra rotation, you're gonna bend the knees in. So the knees will be wider than the ropes. Press all the way out. In, and then press out. So you're kind of in the froggy position, except your heels aren't together. The heels are squeezing that ball. In, good. Press out and lengthen. Five in here. Press out, lengthen, squeeze that ball. Four. Stabilize that pelvis. Three. Two. Last one. Come in halfway and hold it. Good. Go out an inch, in an inch, slow, keeping that extra rotation. Almost there. Make sure the shins are parallel with the floor. You don't want the legs to drop, the shins to drop. Three more. Two. Last one, press all the way up, hold it, turn the feet back to parallel, squeeze that ball. Last of squeezes for 10, nine, eight, squeeze hard, seven, six, five, feel those inner thighs, four, for three, for two, hold that squeeze, hold, 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 five, four, three, two, and one. Come on in, take the ball out. Just bring your legs into a little butterfly position and just open up the inner thighs. Please fall off to the side. Bring the bottoms of the feet together and pull a little deeper into that stretch. So just reach one leg out to the side. Stretch the inner thighs. So you can pull out the inner thighs just there. And that leg in, reach the other leg out. Okay, bring both legs back up to the ceiling. We're gonna draw circles. So drop the legs down towards the foot bar, out and around, back up to center. Make sure the legs come all the way together at the top before you lower. Stabilizing the pelvis so it's not rocking back and forth. Pulling the legs together. Two more. Good. Reverse directions over the legs wide. Lead with the heels, pulling the inner thighs together, and then all the way up. Open wide. Squeeze. Again, only lift your legs as high as you can without lifting that pelvis up. If you only can go to here, that's fine. If you go higher, you might strain that lower back. Circle around, pull through those inner thighs. Four more. Three. Circle around for two. One, bring it down to 45. You're gonna bend the knees into frog. And then press all the way up, zip up through the inner thighs. In. Lengthen long and squeeze. Keep pressing those heels together. Reach your legs as long as you can. You got someone's pulling your feet from the other end. Each time you go, you're stretching. Take one foot out, put on the foot bar, other foot out. I'm just gonna drop the straps into the well. Okay, I'm gonna keep the same springs, red, white, and blue. We're two reds of your balance body. You can always lighten it. We're gonna do single leg footwork. So let's bring that right heel on the foot bar, left leg into tabletop. Have that neutral spine now. 
Inhale, exhale, press through the heel. Squeeze the quad and glute, control down. Exhale on the way out. Inhale in, slow and control. Press through the heel. Squeeze the glute and quad each time you lengthen. This gets you more on single leg. Just go to double leg. Make sure the pelvis is stabilized so you're not leaning on one hip over the other. Do five more. Press through that heel. and squeeze, come all the way in. Push that left foot, left heel on, right leg in parallel. Inhale, exhale, press your heel, squeeze that left glute and quad, control it down slow. Make sure that leg that's a tabletop, it's staying neutral, you're not letting it drop in, so you still want to kind of activate the abdominals. Switch the heels, use that glute and hamstring. Five more here, lengthen long, One, press all the way out, squeeze, come in halfway and hold it. Try to activate the quad, activate the glute, and just hold, deep breath in. Slowly exhale. Here five, hold four, three, hold two. Press all the way out, lengthen, come all the way in. We're gonna go down to your toes. So right, put that right toe on, left leg and tabletop again. Pressing through the balls of your toes. Lengthen long, Resist this down. Good. Keep that heel slightly lifted. Pressing through the balls of your toes. Feel the squeeze of the quad lifting up through the knee pads each time you press out. Five more. Press out four. Three. Two. Last one, press it all the way out, hold it. You're just gonna drop that right heel and lift it up. So a little calf raise, single leg, that right ankle, lower below the hip bar, and then lift up. Again, try to stabilize those hips. Lower and lift. If this is too much, just put both feet down and then do both double leg calf raises. Five, four, three, two. Last one, lift up, hold it, squeeze that glute, hold for five, lift as high as you can with that heel, four, pull three, Hold two, and come all the way in. Switch legs, left toe on, right leg and tabletop. You're pressing to the balls of your toe with the left foot. Exhale to press out. Controlling it down. Squeezing that quad each time. Resist down slow. Five
squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quad, and then slowly controlling it in. Five more. Exhale to press four. Press and lengthen for two. Last one, press all the way up, hold it. You're gonna lower that left heel below the foot bar and then back up. Try to keep even weight on all five toes. Lower and lift that heel. Five more. Try to get up as high as you can on that heel. Two more. Last one, hold it all the way up. Hold, squeeze that glute, just hold it 10, 9, hold 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and come all the way in. All right, let's roll it up. We're going to change our springs a little bit. We're going to take off the white spring, so I'm going to have a red and a blue spring, and I'm going to grab my ball. We're going to go to lay down for some bridges, so make sure that headrest is all the way down. Lay down on your back. Grab that ball. When again, if you don't have a ball, it's fine. Just do it without. I'm going to place the ball though in between my thighs. Heels on the foot bar. Arms long by my side. Inhale. Exhale. You're going to tuck the pelvis under. Articulate up through that spine. One more for time. Roll up. Hold it there. Only go as high as you can, keeping the ribs in. Abs tight. Good. Slowly articulate down. One more for time. Relaxing the palms of the butt. Inhale. Exhale, tuck under using the abs to roll up. Hold. Slowly roll down. Exhale, tuck under. Articulate up. Slow control. Just warming up the spine. Two more like this. Tuck under and lift. Lay down, try to keep it here as still as possible. Last one here, press under. Holding it at the top, make sure the ribs are in, pelvis is tucked, squeeze and release that ball. Go slow, squeeze, release. Don't let the hips drop. Five more squeezes, five, squeeze four, squeeze three, squeeze two, Hold that squeeze, keep a flat back. You're gonna drop your foot down, almost to the carriage, all the way up. Down, all the way up. Keep those abs tight, you're lifting through the pelvis. Keep the carriage still as possible. Squeezing with lifts and hamstrings at the top. Three more here. Last one, hold at the top again and squeeze that ball for 10. Squeeze nine, squeeze eight, squeeze seven, abs tight six, squeeze five, squeeze four, squeeze three, squeeze two. Hold that squeeze. You're only gonna do a little drop an inch, up an inch, down an inch, and up an inch. Good. Go slow. Feel the squeeze of the hands through the glutes each time you lift. Last one, hold it up, squeeze that ball. 10, squeeze nine, squeeze eight, seven, six, five, squeeze four, three, two, hold it there, you're gonna press the carriage all the way out, lengthen long through those legs, pull it in slow. Press out, your hips will drop a little bit. Pull it in using those hamstrings and glutes. Dig through those heels, lengthen long, pull in slow. All the way to the summer. Lengthening. Slowly control it. Reach. Dig 
through those heels using the hamstring glutes. Four more. Three. Good. Two. Keep those abs tight to protect the back. Last one. Come in halfway and hold it. This wants you to tuck the pelvis under. Little tucks. Three. Squeeze between the hamstring and glute, that little crease. Tuck and squeeze. You're moved doing the motion through the pelvis, not the back. Tuck and squeeze. You have five more. For four. For three. For two. Hold it there. Squeeze that ball. Ten. Nine. Again, more inner thighs. Eight, you should feel the burn. Seven, and the glutes and hamstrings. Six, squeeze five. Four, for three, for two. One, look all the way to the stopper and roll down one vertebrae at a time. Good, bring those knees into your chest. Do a little rock side to side. Okay, one more thing here. We are gonna be in first position, so heels on. You can just actually place the ball up to the side. You don't need to get them. This is a nice exercise. Heels on. Good, you're just gonna lift straight up to the ceiling, squeeze those glutes, and then halfway down. Lift up, squeeze, halfway down. Press through those heels, feel the tuck of the glutes, pelvis. Make sure you're actively squeezing at the top. Three more. Last one, lift up. You're gonna press the carriage all the way up. The legs will come together. As you come in, open those legs. Pull with the hamstring boots. Press out, lengthen. Pull and slow. As you pull and try to keep out, squeezing the hamstrings and boots to pull. Try not to let the springs just pull you in. Five more, control it and slow. Four. Press up for three. For two. Last one. Bring it all the way in. Hold it. You tap your butt all the way down, all the way up. Last at ten. Nine. Tap eight. Squeeze seven, for six, squeeze five, then four, three, lift up for two. Last one, lift up, hold it, hold five, squeeze those glutes, four, hold three, two, slowly roll down, and relax. Good, just rock the legs side to side, a little back stretch. Okay, we're gonna roll it up. We're gonna put the foot bar all the way down. And just add on another spring just so the carriage doesn't move. I'm gonna grab the ball. I'm gonna place my feet on the wooden platform. I'm gonna have the ball behind my mid, upper back, kind of between my bra line, and move your butt all the way down. If the ball's too low, it could bother your back. But if you want more of a challenge, you could do it lower, but if it bothers your back, Bring it up higher. I kind of like between my shoulder blades. We'll play with it, whatever feels good. Arms can start behind your head. You're gonna lay back. Only go to a flat back. Don't go all the way back. Flat back, you're gonna exhale, lift up. Hold it at the top and halfway back. As you lift up, keep contact with the ball, pressing that back rib in and then down slow, halfway back. If it bothers, your anything or if it's too hard, reach those arms in front of you. It'll give you a little assistance with the weight helping you pull up. Keep contact with the ball, pulling the ribs in and down. Try to keep the arms wide so you're not pulling with the chin. And as you lift, tuck that pelvis under.
Let's do 10 more here. Slow and controls, so you're really feeling the abs to lift up. Just hold it. You're gonna go down an inch, up an inch, slow and control. Think about pulling the ribs down, making the area smaller between the waist and the ribs. Ten more here. Little pulse. Ten. Control it up. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two. Hold it all the way up. Hold, hold, hold. Five, hold four. Suck the belly button in. Hold three, hold two, one. Reach those arms out in front of you. Stay lifted with the chest. You're just gonna alternate right and left. Try not to let the ball move. I know people, if they do this, the ball kind of shuffles. You're just rotating through that spine and the torso. Stay lifted, small rotations, working into those obliques for 10, nine. Keep the knees still, eight, seven, six, five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Take a little stretch over the ball, open up the ribs and chest, do a stretch of the abdominals. Okay, we're gonna come back up. Okay. I'm gonna have my right arm behind the head, left arm behind my left thigh. If you need a little support, you're gonna rotate just to the left, back to center. You can also keep both hands behind the head to rotate, but if you need a little assistance, you can press against that left quad. You wanna get that right shoulder up, pressing that left rib into the ball. You'll feel a lot on that right side as you're twisting. A little bit on the left. Exhale as you twist. You have 10 more. 10. Good. Rotate. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. You're trying to get that right shoulder up. Four. Three, keep those knees still. Two, last one, hold it towards that left. Good, I'm gonna reach the hands out in front and I'm gonna do a little pulse. You can also keep the hands behind the head. I like to reach it forward. Slow and control. Keep the abs contracted. 10 more. We have six, for five, for four, for three, for two. Stay lifted, hold it there, twist deeper to the left, back to the knee. It could be a small rotation, but think about bringing out a towel on that oblique. So on that right side, keep the knees still. Shoulders lifted. Keep twisting. We have 10 more. Nine, you should feel it on that right side. Eight, seven, for six, five, rotate deeper, four, for three, for two, and one. Take a little stretch, take a little breather. Okay, come back up. Left hand behind the, left, the head, right hand behind the right quad. Lift up, rotate to the right, hold it, and then back to center. Keep contact with the ball. Now we're squeezing that left oblique. Exhale to twist. Get that left shoulder up. And more. Five 
more, last five. And four. Squeeze that left side as you rotate, three. Two. Last one, hold it to the right. I'm gonna reach my hands out the front and pulse it down. Go slow. Try to squeeze that left oblique as you lift up. You can always keep the hands on the head. Do 10 more. Nine, keep the pulse up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up here, hold, hold, rotate deep to the right, back to the knee. Small twist. You can actually go bigger if it feels comfortable for you. But keep contact with that ball, keep those knees still. 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, the six, five, four, three, three, two, and one, take a stretch. Woo. Oh, it feels good to do those abdominals. All right, let's sit on up. Place the ball off to the side. Okay, so we're gonna do reverse crunches. I have one blue spring on. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can do a blue and a white, but I find if I do it too heavy, it works more on my arms and not enough my abs. So we're gonna bring your knees up against the shoulder rest. Your hands are gonna go on the rails. Bring those hands halfway out. Now you're gonna bring the shoulders over the wrists. Make sure they're over there because if they're too far back, then you're gonna be working the shoulders. So shoulders over the wrists. Now you're gonna round through that spine, pull the hair all the way into the hands, and then slowly control that. Exhale to pull, rounding through that spine. Hold it, release it back slow. Pull it in, suck the belly button up and in. Resist that, but keep, keep that contraction of the abs. Pull it in slow, round up through that spine, suck the belly button up and in. Slowly resist back. Using the lower abs to pull in. Keep pressing down through the hand, lifting up out of the shoulders. Get five more. Slow and do that. Four. Three. Two. Last one, we're gonna pull it all the way in and hold it. Hold it, suck the belly button up, chest pull those abdominals in. No little pulses, out an inch, in an inch. And then head neutral, kind of looking at the floor. Keep up five, slow four. Here three, here two, last one, hold it all the way in there, hold five, hold four, hold three, two, and release it back. Do a little child's pose, stretch out the shoulders. Okay, come on up. I'm gonna walk my toes back to the platform. So just the toes are on the edge of the platform. My forearms are gonna go on the reformer. My hands are kind of on the outside of the shoulder rest. I'm gonna press out one foot at a time into a plank position. Get the other foot up. Okay, holding it here, you're just gonna push your arms forward an inch, pull it back an inch. Slow. So the only thing is moving is your forearms. If this bothers anything, just hold the plank, squeeze the glutes, pull up through the abs. Go slow, you should pull your abs as well as your lats. Each time you pull those elbows back under the shoulders. And don't let the elbows go way underneath the shoulders because then that gets kind of off balance. Pull five, stretch out and pull in four. Pull in three. For two. And one, you can either take a breather, otherwise you're gonna pike it up to the ceiling and then back out to a plank. Hold it for a second. Lift the hips up, look at the thighs. 
And then back out to a plank, slow, hold. Lift up, back out to the plank. Lift up, and slow. Using the lower abs to initiate the motion. We have three more. You can stop anytime if it gets too difficult. Two. Last one. Press out to the plank and hold it five seconds. Hold five. Hold four. Hold three. Hold two. And bend it in slow. Good. Do a little child's pose again. Stretching out the shoulders and back. Good, and roll on up. All right, now we're gonna do, go into some arm work, single arm work. I still have one blue spring on. If it's too heavy, change it to a white or a yellow, depending on your machine. I'm gonna reach for my strap. I'm gonna start on the right arm. I'm gonna scoot my knees back a little bit, so I'm kind of in a quadruped position. My left hand is gonna be on that left shoulder rest. Arm is gonna start straight by my side. You're just gonna sweep it back up, hold, and then resist it down. Have that neck long, press back, hold. This right arm is straight, sweeping it down. Working the triceps in the back of the shoulders as well as the lats. So if it's too heavy, just drop down to a lighter spring. Good, press back. We have two more here. Straight elbow reach, resist down. Last one, press it back, hold it. Now, you're just gonna bend the elbow, keep the elbow by your side, bend and extend for triceps. Keep it head long, elbow glued to your side. Press back, make sure you get that full extension, hold, resist forward. Lengthen the neck, pull the shoulder away from the ear. Four more, press back, squeeze, four. Good, press back for three. Good, press back, squeeze for two. Last one, press back, hold it for four, hold three, two, and release. Come up, I'm gonna go on to a kneeling position. We're gonna do single arm biceps. Extend that arm long, I have my elbow in line with my shoulder. I'm gonna actually place my hand underneath my elbow just to give a little support. Pull it in and extend out. Instead of tall three, that's fine. You can always go to um, a double arm if this feels too heavy. Just grab the other strap and do both arms. Or you can lighten the spring, squeeze that bicep, control it out. If you feel any tension in the neck, then just drop the elbow a little bit, a little bit lower. Keep the spine up tall. Squeeze and release. Let's do five more here. We have four. Squeeze up eyes up three. Good, pull it in two. Last one, hold it all the way in here, hold it here. Good, 10, just keep that squeeze, nine. Hold it eight, drop the shoulder away from the ear, seven. Hold six, five, four, three, two, and release. Okay, you can up that strap. I'm gonna grab the other handle. So grab the strap in your left hand. Sweep the knees back, turn quadruped. Right hand is on that shoulder rest. Left hand is arm is long by your side. Keep your arm straight. Press arm straight past the hip and back to center. Good, press it back, squeeze back the arm, and then back down. Stop it when it's in line with the shoulder, don't let it come all the way out in front of you. Press it back. Try to go slow, keep tension in the rope. We don't want there to ever be slack. You have three more here with that arm straight as possible. Resist it down. 
Last one here. You're going to press it back. Hold it. Hold, hold. Now bend that elbow and then press it back. Keep the elbow glued to your side. You're just bending and extending for triceps, squeezing the back of the arm. And neutral. You have three more. Press back and squeeze for two. Last one. Press back. Hold it. Four. Hold it. Three. Hold it. Two. One. And relax. Come back onto your heels. Sitting back. Send that left arm. I'm going to have my right hand underneath the elbow. Just kind of give a little support. Curl it in for biceps. Sit up tall through the spine. Try not to lean back. Release it slow. The good thing about having the hand underneath the elbow is you're not lifting the elbow up. I see people lift the arm up, so just keep it still. You're just moving at the forearm. Lighten the weight if this feels too intense. Slowly forward. Hold it five, hold it four, three, two, release it forward for a second. Just take a little stretch down to your toes. Let the head relax. Now you roll all the way up. This time we're going to roll back. So tuck the pelvis under. Make sure you have like a hand distance behind you. Roll back. Hold it. Good. Keep that C curve. You're going to bring the arms out to a T and hold. Just hold it there. You're just going to bend side to side. Keep tension in those ropes. You're just bending at the waist. Good, rotate side to side. Try to have even weight on your sit bones. One side might lift up a little bit, but don't let it rotate or lift up a lot. You have five more. Four, three, four, two, and one. Sit all the way up, take another stretch forward. Roll up, hang up those straps. Okay, we're just gonna finish with a little glute work, sideline. I'm going to put on a single red spring. If um, you always can go to a blue and a white, or if you are on a balanced body, do a red or a red and a yellow. I'm gonna take my ball just as a headrest, but if you have a yoga block, you can put that down. You're gonna lay down on that side. Let's grab that strap that's closest to your face. Press out, I'm gonna put my right foot into the strap. I'm going to put my arch of the foot in. So we're just going to start, lift up through the bottom rib, make sure your bottom is to the back of the carriage, knee, hip level. We're just going to start by bending and extending. Pressing through the heel, squeeze that glute, resist it down. Make sure you get that full extension. Each time you press out, so you're really squeezing. 
And as you come in, that shin is parallel with the reformer. You don't want to bring that heel in towards your butt because then it starts getting into the quad. Press out and squeeze. do five more here. Only come in so you're at 90 degrees. Two more. Last one. Press it all the way out. Hold it. You're going to sweep that leg forward slightly and then pull it back. Only go as far forward what feels good. If you only can sweep it forward an inch and back an inch, that's fine. You don't want any pain in the back of the knee. So just go forward slightly, pull back, using that hamstring even to pull back. As you sweep the leg forward, stick your butt out, so you're kind of creating an L shape. You don't want to round the pelvis, because then I'll go into your back. We have five more here. Sweep it forward and pull back for four. Three. For two. Last one, I'm gonna sweep it back. So it's kind of at the corner of the foot bar. I'm gonna draw little circles. Up and around. Keep that leg straight, so you're doing the motion with the hamstring loop. Two more this direction. Good, reverse for 10, nine, keep that leg straight. We have six, circle five, four, three, two, last one, hold it out there. Bend the knee, turn the toes and knees up to the ceiling. Bend it in and press out. Keep that shin a little bit higher than the knee. You're not dropping the heel below that knee. Good, in and press out. Think about bringing that knee towards that shoulder, but don't come all the way in. Press out and squeeze. You'll feel a little bit more of the outer glute. And underneath, press out for five, four, full extension, three, Press out for two. Last one. Come in halfway and hold it. Hold that knee lifted. Good. Just breathe. Hold it for five. Hold four. Three. We have one more thing here. Two. Keep the carriage still. You're going to lower it down and lift. Tiny. Ten. Nine. If it's too much, just stop. Eight. Seven. Six. Do what feels good with your body. Five. And four. For three. For two, and one. Woo. Good, take a little stretch. Let the leg reach out to the front. Okay, I'm gonna take that strap off. You're gonna roll on up. Or you could lay on your back and do a figure four stretch. Woo. Really felt that in the glutes. Hope you guys did too. Just take a little stretch. All right, so let's roll on to the other side. So you're gonna take, roll on, rolling onto that right side, make sure your bottom is to the back of the carriage. You're gonna press out from the bottom leg, bring that top foot into the strap through the arch of the foot, lift up through the bottom rim. You're just gonna start by bending in and pressing out. Squeezing that glute each time you press out. We have five more here. So 
Use that glute. Last two. Last one, press it all the way out and hold it. You're gonna sweep that leg forward a few inches or as far as you can, and then pull it back. Remember, as you reach it forward, stick your butt back. You almost want to have like a little arch or neutral spine. And use that hamstring and glute to pull. And you're only pulling back, so it's in line with the hip. Don't go past the hip, because then the rope smacks you in the face. Three more. Last one, pull it back. Keep that leg straight or you can draw little circles. Keep that leg as straight as possible. So you're doing the motion from the hamstring and glute. The carriage will move for this. Reverse directions with that circle. Keep lifting up through the bottom ribs so you're not sinking into the mat. Three more here. Last one, reach it long, turn the toes and knees up towards the ceiling, and then knee in towards your shoulder, and then press out, squeeze that glute. Keep that shin parallel with the floor or extend it a little bit higher. Full extension out. Last one, press all the way up, hold it, and in halfway. Good, hold it still, hold it for five, hold four, squeeze that top glute, three. You're just gonna lower the leg down a few inches and up, keep that carriage as still as possible. For eight, and seven, lift six, five, feel that outer thigh working, four, outer glute, three, for two, one, and relax. Woo, take a little stretch. Reach that leg forward if you want. Roll on up or lay onto your back. Cross that leg other over the other. Give that leg, that thigh, glute a little stretch. Release. Last thing we're gonna do is finish with single thigh stretch. I'm gonna keep my red spring on. Uh, left foot on the floor. Right knee up against, on the on the carriage, right foot up against the shoulder rest. Just bend through that front knee. Press that right hip forward. Get that chest up. Just breathe. Come up a little bit. One more time, press back. Bending that front knee, pressing that right hip forward. So I can pull this slightly. All the way in, let's go over to the other side. Right foot on the floor, left foot up against the shoulder rest. Keep that knee down. Press back into that lunge, feeling a stretch in the front of that left hip. Up slightly. One more time, press back. Come all the way in. And we are done. I hope you had a great workout and come join me again. Have a great day.